Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on another AutoCAD tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to print your drawings in black and white. Now I'm sure many of you are asking the question, why don't I just print my drawings in color? It's a solid question. We're going to answer that. Colors may be used on a drawing to focus the attention on a certain object to highlight a specific property, to unite or differentiate particular objects, and to verify shapes or orientation of an object, etc, etc. But in spite of all that, black and white drawing has its unique advantages. Let's talk about it. Now, a monochromatic drawing is easier on the eyes. In most instances, it is less confusing and easier to understand. Yes. Also, majority of these drawings are being read by professionals who know what they are looking at. They don't necessarily need colorful illustrations. Most approval agencies and manufacturers still accept black and white prints. And we can't leave out the fact also that it is cheaper. Face the facts guys, most people like myself here cannot afford colorful prints. So then, so then, so then, let's learn how to print our drawings in black and white. So we're in AutoCAD now. I'm using AutoCAD Architecture 2017. Um, if you're using AutoCAD 2013 upwards, you should be good. All right. Now we're going to print our drawing, this drawing in black and white. That's what we're trying to achieve. So I went ahead and I prepared the page to print. If you don't know how to do this, uh, my previous video in the description, you can just go ahead, watch it and learn how to set up your page, your border, your paper size and how to scale your drawing. Now we're going to print in black and white yes the cheapest method all right so again we're going to go down to print all right so from the previous video you learned how to set up over this side so we're not going to touch anything over here what we want to focus on is this little section right here that says plot style table all right now, if you're not seeing this side on your computer, what you can do is this little arrow here. If I sh should click on it, you notice that it, it disappears. So, all you need to do is to click on it, the little arrow, and it reappears. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to focus on this little area over here. All right, so click on this drop down. And if you look, if on your computer you see monochrome, you would just click on it. But in my case here, I'm not seeing it. And this is what you do if you're not seeing that option. All right, so we're going to exit that and we're going to type the command convert P styles. All right, so here it is convert P styles. And we're going to hit enter. All right, this option will come up or this warning box. All right, you just press OK. And that's it. So if we should go back now to print and we go to the same drop down, now monochrome appears. Okay. Then we click on monochrome. And you can preview your drawing before you uh before you print it out. So this is what it would look like in black and white. Alright, so of course you can go ahead and you can say apply to layout. And then you can just say OK to print. All right, so I'm going to save this on my desktop as page one. <laughs> yeah, save. All right, let's take a look at it. Page one. All right, so this is what it looks like in Adobe Reader. And this is what, when you print it out, it would look like. All right, let's get out of there. All right, let us say for some reason, go back in print, you don't see monochrome at all. You tried to convert your plot styles, you did the command and it didn't work. What do you do? You can actually create your own plot style. Now, if you're gonna create your own plot style, this is what you need to do. All right, so we're gonna go down to new. We're gonna start from scratch. Next, give it a name. So in my case, I'm gonna say black and white. B and W, black and white. 
and you don't touch anything else just say finish all right now you notice that it is here you have created a plot style table all right what we're going to do now is to edit it so click on the edit button and it brings up this other edit box all right. so what we're going to do is to highlight all of these colors here because what we want to do is to convert all these colors into black and white so we're going to highlight all of them all the way down to 249 so hold down the shift key and press 249 all right let's just check to make sure that they are all selected all right and then we're going to go to color and we're going to change them all to black good now as for these down here these uh six colors we're not going to trouble them because they're already um, different shades of black all right however for the white color which is 255 we're going to change the screen to zero so click inside here and press backspace and you should get zero we're going to scroll back up to the top and for color seven eight and nine let's highlight all three so hold down the control button Control key on the keyboard and click on all three and move them back to use object color because these are also shades of black that's what we'd call them and that's it guys so you just press save and close and yeah you can preview your drawing and there you have it your drawing is now in black and white and we can go ahead and print it. You can say apply to layout and then OK. All right, I'm going to save this as page 1.1. 1. 1. Save. All right, 1.1. 1. 1. Here we go. Full screen. And that's it, guys. So that is how you would go about printing your drawings in black and so that wraps it up for this video guys thank you for joining and i hope that you have learned something if you have learned something just like this video if you have any questions drop your comments below and don't forget to subscribe until next time take care